Okay, so good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to today's lesson in the technical drawing lab. Now, what we will be doing today is uh, quadrilaterals and quadrilaterals are four-sided two-dimensional shapes, right? That are joined together by four straight lines and for one of the simplest forms of quadrilaterals, we'll be looking at the square, right? So today we will be drawing the square. So moving right into it, I'm just going to start by bordering my paper. All right. Okay, so my paper is all bordered up and I am ready to get straight into the drawing. Now, as I said earlier, what we will be drawing today is a square, and that is one of the simplest forms of quadrilaterals. Um, so, for today's square, the side that is given is actually 50 millimeters, right? So, we'll be working with a first given side of 50 millimeters. So, let me just go right ahead and mark our starting line, right? And I'm going to now take my set square and mark 50 millimeters, right? So those two points there are giving me 50 millimeters, right? Okay, so moving right along, I'm going to get my compass and I'm just going to label this point here, point A and the second point, point B, all right? So... I'm going to get my compass now and set my compass right here at point A, right? And I'm going to scribe an arc. Alright. And I'm going to do the same thing at point B. I'm going to scribe an arc. Now what we want to achieve here, we want to get a, a perpendicular line, which is a line at 90 degrees, right? Going up vertically for our two side, for our two sides, right? So now, as you all should remember, how do we draw this? We go by doing the... All right, so after scribing that arc, what I'm going to do next is I am going to put my compass here. After I open my compass wider, all right? What I'll do, I'll put my compass at this point where my arc intersected my starting line and I'm going to scribe an arc like so then my compass goes here at the second point and scribe an arc be sure not to shift your compass as this will alter the accuracy of your completed join all right my compass goes here and I scribe an arc then to over the other side and the ice cream and arc again okay great now at this point I will take my set square and set it at my T square and I'm going to draw a line going directly through the, that arc that I scribe and I'll do the same at this point. All right. Now, as we can remember, 
the measurement that we are working for working with is a b is equal to 50 millimeters right so we are building a square as we said so what we'll be working with is the 50 millimeters from a b so the next step is opening our compass to 50 millimeters at a b and scribe an arc at the top of this line that we made from a and describe a second arc at the top of this line that we made at B. After doing so, we can just go ahead and brighten that point with our pencils. Great. And then using either our set squares or T square, either which one, we can now line up and draw our final line of our square. I'm just gonna go right ahead and brighten this line. All right. Also, I'm gonna brighten this line. Oh, and I'm going to label this point here C and label this point D. Alright. And there we go. We have points A, B, C, and D with all points being equal. All sides being equal, that is. And all angles being equal and 90 degrees. We have constructed our square, which is the first and simplest form of quadrilateral.